powerful hurricane is barreling through the Pacific Ocean, taking aim at Hawaii. Hurricane Lane is expected to get dangerously close to the Big Island and Maui. John Shumo shows us how people there are bracing for this storm. A state of emergency in Hawaii for what could be the most damaging storm there in decades. I was here for Hurricane Eva 30, 30 years ago, and I know how bad it can be. And yes, I'm concerned. Residents are stocking up on supplies as Hurricane Lane churns toward their homes and businesses. Officials are preparing for the worst as the storm threatens to bring powerful winds and catastrophic flooding. We do not want to see what happened in Puerto Rico. And we do that by making sure we're prepared. Dramatic satellite images show the massive storm in the Pacific Ocean. FEMA already has 150 workers in Honolulu ready to respond. Please, if at all possible, consider sheltering in place at your own home if it's safe to do so. First responders from around the country are heading to Hawaii to help. These California firefighters are packing 40,000 pounds of equipment. We have boats, both uh, rigid hull inflatables and flat bottom, you know, more slow water. Uh, flood type boats that we can use if in fact that becomes a problem. Public schools are closed for the rest of the week. In Hawaii, the surf's up as residents hunker down. John Shumo, CBS News. Now if the storm's current track holds, Hurricane Lane would be the most pow powerful hurricane to hit Hawaii since 1992. Now we'll send it over to Nate Larson for more on the updated trajectory of this storm. Nate. Thank you, Denny. Yeah, hey, good morning, folks. We do have a weakening storm system, which is great news, but it's still a very powerful hurricane at a Category 4. Uh, we've had sustained winds of 145 miles per hour down to 130 miles per hour uh, this morning, so that's good news. Still moving northwest at 7 miles per hour, so uh, again, it is still moving dangerously close towards the Hawaiian Islands. Tropical storm force winds expected across much of the uh, islands as we head into uh, this afternoon and through Saturday. So again, still a Category 2 likely as it it heads towards Maui County and it rounds left around the uh, area of high pressure that's surrounding much of the Pacific that should help steer it out of the region as we move forward. Real quick, just wanted to show you some of the uh, wind radii. So tropical or excuse me, hurricane first force winds near the center there. Tropical storm force winds expected this afternoon into the evening hours on the main island and that's going to mainly impact the islands. So again, we have uh, lots of heavy rain, storm surge, damaging surf expected to still impact those areas even if the eye of the hurricane doesn't make landfall.